Oh no. One bottle is corked. Corked? It's so hard though. Like, how are we meant to know? Like, no, no. It's well, that's that's a thing. That's it's just like it doesn't thing. smell like wine. It just smells like off wood. Yeah, it smells, smells, smells gone. But we will access. Oh, it's Don't gross. taste it. Don't taste it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should contact the um, the owner of the shop. Good day, Angus. How are you? Hey, Rafi. How are you, man? Never in our 60 episodes of the podcast did we expect this to happen. Hello and welcome back to Got Some. Uh, this is Angus doing the voiceover. Uh, I have to give you some context to this episode because it was never planned and should never have happened. Carlos and I were meant and started doing an episode of Barolo versus Barbaresco. And when opening up our four bottles as examples, we realized one of the bottles was corked. What is a corked bottle? A corked bottle is a bottle that is spoiled. It can come from too much oxidation. It can come from bad storage. It can come from overheating. It can come from varying climate conditions. Like for example, if it was imported over from Italy where of course Barolo and Barbaresco was from and somebody didn't bring it in a refrigerated container, you're gonna have some hot and cold conditions on that journey over here, causing potentially what we opened on our record day. So we scrapped the idea of Barolo and Barbaresco and focus on the rare occasion when you get a bottle is corked. And really importantly for you guys out there, how to identify a corked bottle and the procedure on how you should be getting a refund from where you bought it from to make sure you get the best experience out of your wine. Enjoy this episode, like and subscribe below and make sure you follow our podcast where a master sommelier is here to educate you and I on how to maximize the best experience in wine. Enjoy. Wine number three, you mean glass number three? Yeah, I glass think it's quite shy. Okay, but then on the nose? Yep. Hmm, to me, I pick a little bit more woody okay. on number three. Okay, yep, that's nice. That's the best so far. Oh, no. One bottle, one, one bottle is corked. Corked? One bottle. So glass number oh, four. Oh, glass number four is corked. Glass number four, glass number four is gone. No. Yeah, glass number four. Unfortunately, the bottle is it's faulty. Corked. That's okay. That's still an interesting uh, exercise. So we will see which of the obviously the bottles was corked, but we will access. Oh, it's Don't gross. taste it. Don't taste it. <laughs> That's funny. You taste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's when you smell cork, don't taste it, you know. Oh, it's not poisonous, is it? It's, it's not poisonous, but... Um, oh, what a shame. No, no, no. This, so this is faulty. Uh, so our <laughs> glass, that's issue number four. We should also point out, I bought these from a wine store that's closed down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably the storage wasn't exactly the best. I would say, mm -hmm. this is my presumption, corked bottles of wine would happen more often than we know. Uh, with, the, with the normal cork? No, as in corked. Yeah, corked. Gone yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say it would happen in Australia more than we would know. Mm -hmm. And I would think if someone's going to buy themselves a nice bottle of wine under cork, mm -hmm. um, they wouldn't realise that a bottle of wine is corked as mm -hmm. in gone bad. Yeah, it happens. And yeah. they would finish the bottle. And without knowing. Without knowing. Yeah, and probably yeah. think because of the mindset, I've spent 80 bucks on this mm -hmm. bottle. Do you want to do a test? Mm. Let's get, Amelia, can we get two new glasses? Can we get Katie or Maddie or mm. Aoife from the front desk? That's interesting, yeah. And let's get them or whoever wants to come, multiple. Mm. Can we get those um, guys to come down or team to come down here and let's see which one they prefer. Cool? cool. That'll be a good test. That will be very good, yeah. This is good. Oh, right, fuck. This move. is smelling beautiful now. Move this out of the way. Oh, fuck. This is bad. This one is bad. I don't know why I'm tasting it. Get in here, Katie. Ah, <laughs> right, you have... Uh, yeah. Katie's on. Hello, Katie. Hi. KD. K oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's a very easy mistake. All right. Hi. You've got a job. Yes. Hi. Come on in. Am I sitting in the chair? You are. Yeah, sorry. I'm just <laughs> You tucked it in pretty mature. <laughs> <laughs> and tucked in. Nice, thanks. All right, you have two glasses of wine. Oh, these ones. Uh, these ones oh, are perfect. it doesn't matter. They're, they're the same, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're going to have two glasses of wine. We want you to tell us 
which is your favourite. Okay. Yeah. And, and why? Based on? Just based on your personal taste. Okay. Yeah. Should I do them in any order? Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just a uh, you, you can, there's a speed tune if you like. I won't need that. No, oh, perfect. <laughs> I, love, I love your style. Here you go. We don't need the speed tune either, so. Okay. Soft on the nose. Mm-hmm. A bit zingy. Mm-hmm. A bit zingy. Mm. A bit more sweeter on the nose, maybe? Mm-hmm. And smoother for me. Mm -hmm. I think this one's my fave. Fave? Mm -hmm. Tell us about the zingy one. What was, this, what was zingy about? It just had like a bit of a, I don't really love an acidic wine. Mm -hmm. So for me, smoother is a bit better. Mm -hmm. And it was just kind of a bit, as soon as it hit my tongue, it was just a bit zesty. Mm -hmm. Whereas this one, it was kind of like, I could sense a bit more sweetness maybe. Mm -hmm. And then it was, yeah, it went down a bit smoother. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay, and what about uh, in terms of like flavors, mm -hmm. uh, aromas, like what you can smell? Would you be able to give us like a few? This one's maybe even a bit musky or something. Aha, uh -huh. okay, that's good. That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> sorry? Is it, she got it right? Yeah, she got it right. Okay, yes. Yes. Yeah, so this wine is faulty. It's uh, it's a wine that is actually spoiled with yeah. with the cork. There you go. Uh, so you you yeah you distinguish Let's it. Let's go, baby. <laughs> I'm on it. You distinguish you you well done. Yeah, well, yes. that's good. That's good. Nice. Yeah, it's very you know. <laughs> that was good. The prize is yeah. You get to take this. With yeah, you. yeah no that's the good one. It's the exact same one. wine. Uh, yeah. Oh. yeah, it's very 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 very, very similar. It's similar all producer, etc. Nice. 150 bucks bottle of wine. So Musky. Oh, yeah. Dean, cool. Actually, cool. Dean's a great person. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. cool. Right. Thank you, Katie. You? Good job. She passed Dean, the test. Come on in. I've got these. Actually, I don't need them. She passed the test, but you see, she wouldn't think he's wrong. So, hello. How's it going? I'm very well. How are you? I'm Carlos. Nice to meet you. Dean, nice Dean, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Dean yeah. is from Stedman's. Stedman's Hospitality. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, great. So, we. Uh, we work with uh, front of house teams and various different different clients. We don't oh, nice. uh, we don't drink much wine, but we serve lots of it. Dean's Fantastic. office is filled with wine because they do so much. Yeah, if there's <laughs> if there's any filled ever, with empty bottles, maybe you know I'm, I'm going to push the strings here. But uh, yeah, if there's anything I can ever help. Uh, ah, you know, here he is, uh, <laughs> of Master course. Familiar, Carlos Santos, of, work in the floor. Of course, we'll we'll always uh, you know put our hands up if. Um, yeah, or start anybody wants or to help. something, yeah, something, something. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, Dean, cool. you have a job in front of you. There are okay. two glasses of wine. We yeah. simply want you to tell us which is your favourite and why. Mm. Okay. I assume I have to taste them. Yeah, you can use a spittoon. Oh, fruity. That one smells smells mm -hmm. really good. Yeah. They they the same grape variety, the same region, the same country, etc. Um, they they just different wines. Oh, well, I like that one. It's quite spicy, mm -hmm. smooth, okay, and it's red. One of my favorites. Mm -hmm. sure. You know, really, awesome. really easy on that one. Would you, would you, would you be able to tell us a little bit, like, about uh, aromas and flavors? Different aromas and I mean, like a few, two, three um, descriptors that come to of mind. A little bit. And look, woody. there's no right or wrong. Just whatever comes to mind. Yeah, a little bit peppery on the peppery, aftertaste. Peppery, yeah. Okay. Um, Seems like fairly youngish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, 16, 17, yeah. around that, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fair. But yeah, really, really nice. I think it's quite quite smooth. Mm. And uh, any fruits like that you would uh, suggest there? Uh, Red or maybe, black? Or? Uh, maybe like a bit of bit of pear or something in mm -hmm. there. So there's like a complex kind of sweetie sure. potential. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Awesome. All right, next it's glass. Nice. nice, I like mm -hmm. it. You like sure, it? that's fantastic. <laughs> you might be able to have the bottle of it if you like. Hey, always, always. Oh, this one seems more complex, maybe a bit, mm -hmm. bit older. Mm -hmm. More woody, this one definitely. More woody? Like a little okay. bit of a woody smell. Mm -hmm. If you don't like a wine, you can mm. say Yeah, that. you that's right, that's yeah. right. They, they, they don't this have to is, be the good. Wines don't matter, we pay for them. You can yeah. you can say it's yeah. the worst thing you ever tasted. That's right. And you have to be truthfully honest. Mm. Mm. Um, this, this ain't an ad. 
No, I much prefer the other one, okay, the last one. Good. But but this good. one does have more of a woody, old schooly, maybe sort of a more historic brew mm-hmm. to it, like mm-hmm. a, a French older style mm-hmm. wine potentially, would like you, a Bordeaux. Would you? Okay, so uh, in terms of fruits, if you were to compare the fruit of one and the fruit of or not fruit, but aroma in general of one and the other, what 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 do you think? That one's way more fruity. Yeah. Much lighter, much more drinkable, more, more to my, my more palate, drinkable. much okay. more drinkable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This one I feel is more of a specialist kind of less, and would you pay, less, less would you generalist pay, wine. Yeah, would you pay, uh, if you go to a bottle shop, knowing what you're tasting, mm-hmm. uh, if you go to a bottle shop and know, you, you know what you, you know, you know you're going to have this aroma in the wine and you're going to have this aroma in the wine, yeah. would you choose this bottle? at some stage over certain dishes over that one or would you always go for that one instead of this I'd one? I'd probably always go for the other one. Yeah, okay, that's good. I yeah. Yeah. I have to tell you something. I am so happy. <laughs> I thought the wines were the other way round. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, it's good. I was stressed. Good. Yeah, you're this doing wine really is well. corked. Ah, you're doing really well. Yeah. And, but you were, I thought that was corked. You were like, it's fruity, it's lovely. And I was like, oh, no. No, no he, I, I, I oh, got it. He, oh, was, oh. he was going right. He Thanks, was going right. Yeah, Dean, we just opened up a yeah. $150 bottle of wine that's corked. Uh, but that say. one's not. The one you yeah, like. But I thought you had it around the wrong way. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> No, no, no it was, you got it right. It was oh, doing well. There we go. Yeah, it, was, it, yeah. you Definitely. can smell it. It's, it's musky. Like a... Musky is a good word. Yeah, it's like yeah, wet yeah. cardboard and mm. uh, like just cork taint and it's three chlorices, uh, something yeah. is like a, a, yeah, it's just it's just I mean, wrong. Sometimes I have a hard time to actually taste a corked wine. Well, which that's... Can, which can be a case because quite often they do just taste like something that's spent a bit too long in wood or um, yeah. sometimes. That, but, that, um, that's not usually the case. Usually is a, is a chemical that is released either from the cork or yes, from the wood, yeah. but it doesn't has nothing to do with the time. Yeah. It's just, yeah, chemical that is released from uh, from bad processing in usually the, the, cork, um, the cork closures. Well, I actually opened a bin uh, 389 with a friend oh, nice. uh, a couple of days awesome. ago and it was corked. Ah, there you go. We so yeah, <laughs> this, is the, this is the smell of cork. So when you smell yeah. this, that's, uh, you know, and the same, that musky, wet cardboard, uh, it's not good. Yeah, so it's, yeah, just okay. refuse it. Don't, Ooh, don't. Katie, dang. Yeah. <laughs> but you see, Thank God. It's a great exercise because it's like yeah. you, well, I you. Have, I wouldn't have said that's generally cork. It's well, there you go. You often. Oh, well, well, you don't often. When you, you know, don't. when you know, when you know, you know. But when you, when you, if you go in a restaurant and someone serves you this, you probably drink it. You're not having the most I mean, pleasurable how? drink. You how? drink it, yeah. but it's just not right. You would not yeah, drink this. Yeah, you can't put your, yeah. your finger on it because you don't know. But how often do you drink a cork bottle? Like it's, That's what it's, I was saying. It's it can happen. It can happen. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. I reckon a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. I'm talking yeah. louder for the microphone. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Like yeah. Thanks. That's awesome. Really good exercise. Well done, both of you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Awesome, Any, thank anytime. you. Or you get your prize uh, if, you, if you do so. Oh, yes. No drive. Good work. I go to the team. Yeah, they did well. Well, they they you know you see like they would still drink it, but. It didn't taste good for them. I, I was so concerned that Dean got that wrong. No, it was. Oh, right. you knew yeah. the whole time. That's you why I see. was pushing. That's why I was pushing more questions from him. But yeah, he did really well. It yeah, was, it was going in the right did. direction, and uh, he did. He, yeah, it was not. He was not lying to himself. He was not lying to us either. He was. He was being honest. He was just. But that's the thing. He would drink the bottle of wine. He would have. Well, it's good because Katie was like straight away. This is musky. Yeah. yeah. She was saying terms you don't want to hear with wine. Yeah. He was. He was a little bit nicer with the wine for sure. But. Uh, but yeah. But he was in the right direction and he did really well to point that. Yeah. yeah. If you do get a corked bottle of wine, which uh-huh. we have in front of us. Yeah. Good. Great question. Yeah. What do you do? Yeah, you should contact the um, the owner of the shop if you have his number or you got his contact or something, and say, "Look, I hey, do guys, have his contact. Yeah, uh, I just opened this bottle of Barolo. I paid hundred and twenty dollars. Look, the wine is completely faulty. It's corked. I can bring the bottle to you and yeah. the cork, so you can prove that. Look, I want to refund. That's generally what you do. But obviously, the bottle is closed. The shop is closed, so it's a little bit different. But they're but, opening up. It's still the same owner. Oh, uh, really? They're well, just opening then, up as a store. Well, I then, think I then, have his number. then right. totally, then right, you let's, totally. Let's, let's do this together. I've got his number. Then you totally should, uh, you should call him up and say, look, I mean, I opened this bottle and uh, he's faulty. Um, can I have a re- either a replacement or um, okay. a replacement or uh, a credit note? You know? All right, cool. I'm going to find what, that's him. That's what we do in the restaurants. 
I'm going to find him in my – I have his contact or at least the guy who was the manager of it because um, I texted him about some wine sellers that you were, might be interested in. So there it is. I'll see – you'll have to watch our follow us on socials. Or? Should I call him? Do you want to call him? I mean, are you – you going to talk? I'll call him, I'll call him, I'll call him, I'll call him. <laughs> I love that from you. Let me oh, find him. Me as well. I mean – but yeah, here we you go. Know. Oh, gee, I've got him. Here it is. I'm not here, okay? Oh, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Shit, this is him. I don't even know his name. I open a bottle of wine and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. you shouldn't say that on a podcast. His name's Rafi, name. Rafi. Oh, the bottle is full. I have the cork. It's faulty. G'day, Angus. How are you? Hey, Rafi. How are you, man? Pretty good. Yourself? Good, good. Hey, uh, weird one for you. Um, sure. a, the bottle of Barbaresco that I bought... Yeah. We opened it up and it was completely corked. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, undrinkable. Yeah. No, that's a shame. I'm sorry about that. No dramas. We've still got the bottle for you and the cork. Um, yeah. But I know you guys are like turning into a tapas and wine bar. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. it wouldn't, no, bother, it wouldn't bother me if it was a thirty dollar bottle. But no, I, I'm happy to process a refund for you on that bottle. I apologize. No, please. Yeah, thank you. It's it's lovely because I and I'm, it's not just my opinion. I've got a mate who's a som, and he's like, you know, uh, the wine's definitely corked. So as soon as he smelt it, he didn't even taste it. Um, so I'm happy to bring it over. Yeah, Obviously, I'm across the road. I want you to have good wine. It's not my intention at all. Um, no, sorry if that happened. Uh, let me know when you're free over the next couple of days. You can swing by and I'll process a refund for that bottle for you. No worries, man. I'm across the road, so I can bring it over today if you want. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. Uh, do you want to say 1 p.m.? Done. 1 p.m. Cool. That was the Barbaresco from the small fridge that my chassis? Correct, yep. Uh, cool. And then, yeah, please, like, obviously have a glass and like you'll, you'll smell it on the nose straight away. Yeah, too easy. Awesome. Yeah, Thanks, man. You bring it over. Absolutely. And I'll, uh, I'll process a refund for you. No sweat. Awesome, mate. Thank you. I'll see you in 30. Sounds good. All right, bro. Bye. That's, that's, that's how you handle hospitality, everybody. That's, what a legend. That's, and he's always been a good dude, that guy. Yeah. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure you should put this on a podcast because Why? the guy's going to be seeing the podcast and I'm he's get- like, hey, I was on a. <laughs> I'll tell him when I go over. I'll say, no, "Hey, will you handle really that?" Well? That's that's exactly the attitude. That's exactly how it should be. You know, it's uh, you know, it's, it's not his fault. It's absolutely not, it's not his, his fault. fault. No, it's uh, not the wine. It's not the wine bar's but, fault either. Yeah, but the uh, the attitude of replacing the bottle is exactly the right thing. That's that's yeah. exactly how it should be then, and that's that's exactly how we process. And, yeah. Um, there that's, you go. That's the best. That's the best outcome you could ever have. Take note, everybody. When you a bottle of wine. And yeah. then, and the just FYI, you could shake that off and go, "Oh, we lost 120 bucks." But here's the reality: is we get that money back. Yeah. We'll put it towards a future bottle. That's right. Or yeah, that's right. Wow, I can't believe you caught it on the lot. That's funny. Oh, awesome. There's the way to wrap up a podcast, everybody. Um, we'll see you on the next episode of Got Some. Until then, so would. Cheers. Well then. I do love the Brawler de Brawler. Brawler.